Three years ago, Fernanda Forder, a high-performance computing user support specialist and programmer at the Department of Energy's Oak Ridge Leadership Computing Facility, helped organize and host the first in a series of hands-on workshops where teams engage in five days of nearly non-stop programming to accelerate their scientific applications on computing devices called graphics processing units, or GPUs. Now, here she is at Brookathon, the 10th hackathon in the series, hosted by Brookhaven Lab's Computational Science Initiative. Hackathon is a borrowed term from Google and Facebook, but it really the spirit of it means making it work, uh, starting early, staying late, and uh, putting forth every trick you might have and your mentors and everyone else in the room, because there's a lot of information sharing and making all that work toward the end of the week. So these teams come in teams of three, four, we have a minimum of three, and then we pair them up with uh, mentors that are GPU experts, so probably experts outside of their domain space. So there's lots of expertise in one table where they can put it all together, put all their heads together to try to get the application to run on the GPU efficiently. We just recently bought a GPU cluster and uh, there's a lot of demand for uh, this kind of uh, training and we need the GPU experts to be here uh, to uh, transfer their knowledge to us. So that's why uh, Brookhaven decided to get involved in organizing a hackathon. I'm a mentor this week. I'm working with uh, three scientists on the music project. Uh, which is hydrodynamics for heavy heavy ions, and uh, it's um, sort of a symbiotic um, uh, relationship. They bring the physics knowledge, the knowledge about their application. I'm on the computational side. I um, I'm a mentor. I I try to explain how the, their code can be ported to these graphics processing units. And it's um, a really great collaboration. We're making a lot of progress, and hopefully by the end of the week, they will be able to take a code which runs on these GPUs and gets them to do more of their science, which is what they're really interested in. You know, we get uh, folks that are students, we get folks that are vendors, so they've been in the field for a long time. Uh, we get um, graduate students that are already progressed quite far into their graduate studies, so they've already done a lot of this. Uh, we've been able to grow our own mentors, so we've had people that come to the hackathon, and then in the next hackathon they're able to be mentors for other teams who are starting out in their GPU journeys. So I work for the NVIDIA Corporation. Uh, they make graphics processing units, and so the NVIDIA GPUs are actually in use in Titan Super computer as well as many other supercomputers in use in academia for high performance computing. I was a participant in this in one of these hackathons when they first got started a couple of years ago. I think it's a great activity and like to support it and support the broader community in their efforts to get more involved in what they're doing. It's absolutely fantastic here because we have seven de developers all under one roof from you know kind of spread around different parts of the country and we can ask each other questions and, and resolve issues very quickly. Um, there's a high level of intensity. Um, and then plus we have other experts in the room should we get stuck on things, so it's very good. Being at the Hackathon this week has uh, taught us a lot about some of the data structures on the GPUs and helped us increase our speed immensely. Well, on the first day we were increased our speed by 30%. So now, then we got up to 50%, so it's twice as fast, and now we're at four times as fast as our code, which is a big improvement. We're all together hacking away at the code, solving bugs which, as a distributed team by email, might not, we might not be able to solve very efficiently. Once we get those solved, our code will be running much faster, so a problem which previously took 100 hours might now take 20 hours. And a problem which previously you couldn't actually even do can now is, is now tractable and can be solved. I want to see great science be done. I don't want to see folks struggle with new hardware, uh, new programming styles, programming languages, and have that keep them from doing great science. It's so useful to have experts sitting at the, at the table uh, because, you know, there are things, I mean, you, you know it if you've tried it. I mean, there are things you say, okay, I don't know if OpenACC can do this. So you Google for two hours, and then you're not quite sure after two hours. So you, you, you just give up because it seems to be too difficult. And, you know, yesterday there were things, you know, we'd say, like, is that possible? 
And, you know, one minute later it was established, it's possible or not. And, you know, you, you can't, it can't really get uh, easier than this. I'm a parent. <laughs> so it's a little hard to, to uh, not to, to take it a little bit into uh, parent mode and, and to really be proud of, you know, my folk kids. Uh, a lot of them are older than me, of course, but uh, it's really cool to see on Friday how much they've been able to accomplish in just four days.